Down here at Moor Lane Park, there's a lot of fans out there, Darlington supporters, Newton Aircliffe supporters, uh, all want to know, you know, what's happening with Aircliffe's pitch, is tomorrow's game going to be on? What's the latest uh, state of play? Well, we're doing all we can. Um, there's a couple of areas that are still a little bit frozen. Obviously, the weather's picked up for us yesterday and today. Decent forecast overnight and into tomorrow, so we're hopeful. Uh, we've got a pitch inspection plan for the morning. We're going to be out here grafting away to try and sort of alleviate the, the frost in these couple of areas. You know, right up until close of play tonight, and then first thing again tomorrow morning. So we're we're pretty confident that, that we're, we're doing all we can to try and make sure the game's on. It's a particularly big game for for Aikliff as well, and um, a lot of work has gone on behind the scenes to uh, to prepare for this game. So it's it's a big deal for the club, isn't it? Yeah, it's a massive massive occasion for us. I mean, the chance to be playing Darlington in a in a competitive league game is unthinkable, really. You know, I remember a few years ago when I was still with Hartlepool at the arena in a League Two fixture, and now all of a sudden here we are with Aikliff playing them. You know, two years ago the big boys from up the road came down to help us out with a fundraising friendly, and now. Here we are in a competitive game with three points at stake that both teams are, are sort of eager to, to win. So it's going to be a massive occasion for everybody. Obviously, there's a lot of Darlington fans living in the town, a lot of our own supporters who have been looking out for this fixture since since August. Um, and we've done all we can to try and you know minimise the, the sort of the congestion, the problems that we expect with hopefully our biggest ever crowd tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we've worked closely with the police, with the you know the local neighbours. Um, we've sort of put in place pre-sales of tickets so that we can try and help fans get in more quickly. Um, we've sort of just done as much as we can. Obviously, we've, we've sort of put a, a park and ride facility on to try and alleviate the parking problems that, that, that might sort of arise with sort of over a thousand people trying to trying to come down. So we've done as much as we can, we think, in, in terms of getting ourselves ready for it.